Good morning, everybody. Uh, this is Andy, and I'm Kent, and uh, today we're going to be working on Alec's car. Uh, Alec is off at college, and Alec and Andy decided they wanted to restore an old car. So I think today we're going to be doing what? Well, today we're going to be replacing the gas tank, doing some maintenance on the car. We got a lot of parts to put on and things to do, and we're smoking a brisket. <laughs> so I think this may be an ongoing series. I don't know how far we'll get today, but uh, we thought we'd create a little video so that Alec, while he's off at school, uh, can see the progress on his car. I know he wishes he could be here working on it with us. We wish he could be too, but uh, we thought, hey, we got to make some progress on this so that when he does get back, uh, he just wants to drive it as soon as possible. So we're going to document this a father and son build of a what 1970 year is it? Olds Cutlass 354 barrel, bucket seats, co uh, console shift. Alec, study hard. You'll be driving it soon. I found a 1970 Olds Cutlass up in Loveland for my friend Eric. Had to put an engine in it, but you know, it's a rolling project. We got it fired up and the car's not been driven for at least 15, 20 years. But we've got a lot of work to do. It's going to be painted silver with a black vinyl top and dual exhaust. It's going to have sport mirrors on it, 1970 old sport mirrors. And the interior is black cloth, aftermarket cloth. It's going to remain that way, pretty good condition, and uh, I think Alex is going to like it. So right now it is running off a gas tank because we're going to install the new rear gas tank today to get it going off of the car gas tank. So Andy, how many uh, Oldsmobiles or this kind of vintage car? Have you had these? I know yeah. you're a Oldsmobile Cutlass, and yeah. So I, um, I have had probably a dozen Olds Cutlasses over the years. My first car was a 1970 Olds uh, four-speed Olds Cutlass, and since then I've uh, continued to collect them. <laughs> <laughs> so there may have been a little bit of an influence. Uh, on Alec to, to purchase this thing, car. Yes. I mean, he was looking at yeah. a variety of things, but yeah. when he saw yeah. this, you said he immediately was like, oh, yes, yes, I want it, I want it, I want it. And he remembers these from North Carolina. I had a couple of these in the garage when he was a little guy, and he remembers them, the blue one and the red one. So, uh, so he wants his own he, now. He's thinking about, you know, pursuing the craft. So let me crank it up for you guys. All right. All right. And we'll see, see how Alec likes this. Has he heard it run? Yes. Okay. So as you probably know, you got to put a little spark, start juice in it. Two or three seconds of that. I got fuel in my tank. And then it should crank right up.
burning rubber already. These are all the tools you need right there. That's it. You can do a complete tear down and rebuild with just these these tools. So what are you doing first here? I'm just unhooking the vent line and the um, um, the vent line and the gas line. Yeah, the manufacturer's build sheet for assembly in the when the car was assembled 1970 sometimes on the top of the fuel tank So in 1970, when they assembled these cars, they put the build sheet on top of the gas tank. The guys in the factory, and look what we found. Look this that. is the original yeah, build let sheet. Let me pull it off, and I'll turn it around so you can see it. There it is. So here's the old tank, and you just think that it was rusty inside? Yeah, just couldn't get any fuel to the engine, just nasty, clogged up two filters, so I shut it down. So right. we got a better tank here from a used car, but we're going to pull the sending unit out of it and take a look inside and clean it out before we put it in the car. So using a brass punch on a fuel system is kind of wise. Just got to move this. Uh, Snap ring around a little bit. So this is the ground strap that we're going to uh, attach, and there's the power for the uh, fuel level for your car to see how. Uh, there. there it comes. Okay. So the sending unit has got a rubber seal. We're going to throw that away because we have a new sending unit. So here it comes. And these have a little sock on them that picks up the fuel. And this, this controls the level. This would be empty. This would be full. So as you're, you empty your gas, it goes to empty on your gauge. Or is it just the opposite? Yeah. That would be full. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Empty. So these these things, see how bad these oh, are sometimes? Yeah, yeah. You always want to replace these whenever you go in a fuel tank. So we got a new one. But if you look down in here, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it's you can see some metal on some stuff. Oh, yeah. We're going to slosh it with some new gas and dump it a couple times in a bucket. Yeah. New sending unit, new pickup stock. Pickup stock, new rubber seal. So we're going down. And this goes right in this little slots right there. And this goes under. You just catch the tabs and get on.
All right, Andy, so a little recap of today. Um, what do we do? So we got the new fuel tank in, uh, got it installed, and um, you know, put a filter on it and ran it. And uh, got a little bit of a fuel problem, getting too much fuel. So we're going to have to diagnose a little further for another day. Yeah, so all we did is we swapped out the gas tank, put a new fuel sending, sending unit in. Sending unit, yeah. We checked the fuel line to make sure it wasn't, uh, there were no obstructions. And uh, ran it for a little while uh, off of the gas can, just a gas can in the engine bay. And then switched it over by adding a fuel filter and just running it right into the carb. And then it just seemed like it was running really rich. It wouldn't idle. Uh, we could keep it running, but it was just running really, really rich. So we're not quite sure what's happening. So uh, we'll have to figure that out. It was fun to find that build sheet and uh, see, yeah, what the original mm -hmm. options were on the car and yeah. uh, when mm -hmm. it came from the factory. So that's always fun to discover something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so that's a little progress uh, on this Saturday. And uh, we'll, we'll keep going. So... Stay tuned. Bye, April. Bye. Good luck today. Thank you. <laughs> you might want to take your boat okay. out so it doesn't hit you in the face. Are you coming over for dinner tonight? Well, I don't know. I haven't uh, talked to her about it. Uh, okay. So we're recording this. You're recording? Yes. <laughs> Hi. It's going to be a Joyride Pictures production. And then uh, Alec can see the progress on his car. Oh, my gosh. That's a great and idea. And he can share it with all his friends. That's a great idea. So we'll need to get an interview from you later about your feelings on this project. I'm sure you want that. Yep. <laughs>